Football Manager 2022 Barcelona play ratings, bro. Shout out Alfie King, my G. You get me? So, I told you lot, yeah, in my FM22 best save ideas that Barcelona is not going to be an easy save. If you want to experience debt, then that's your team right there. The time when we're recording this video, they're drawing nil-nil at home to Alaves and they're sitting 10th in La Liga, bruv. They just sacked their manager, Ronald, whatever the hell his name is, man, yeah? And it's it's looking hella tits up for these, man. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, owner status loves the club. I'm gonna just let that one sit in the air. Anyway, um, nickname Los Cules. Cool. Um, you already know I don't speak Spanish. I would love to speak Spanish, bruv been Spain before beautiful country beautiful people but yeah um, continental competition Europeans Champions Cup I can't verify that I don't know if they really are in that but yeah let's look at the history in terms of history you already know Barcelona elite club world class club whatever the hell I mean you already know Barcelona are at the top in it but um, obviously of recent times due to financial I'm not gonna lie stupidity that's what it is financial stupidity has cost them their um Prestige, should I say. Literally, they're, they're literally going down, as you can see. But yeah, let's view the squad, bro. So we're going from Neto all the way to Luke De Jong, bro. What the fuck? Anyway, let's just see what this what this club is saying, bro. This is going to be... All right, the first player that we've got is Neto. Now, 31 years of 80 years, a backup goalkeeper, 17 reflexes, 16 agility, and 51 on ones is really good. Let's be real. Like, honestly speaking, that's a very good goalkeeper. Oh my god, go keep him pivot, yeah. And 16 composure, 6 anticipation, he's good under pressure as well. He's actually a very good goalkeeper, I'm not going to lie. It's definitely a goalkeeper defending. Like, I don't really like his passing, nor do I like his kicking, which is both 11 and 10. But yeah, in terms of stopping shots, man can do his thing still, man at net. All right, next player that we've got is Mark andre Testegen. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I was told by fans of this club, yeah, that he's not that good. I'm not going to lie. I've been told that he's very overrated that's what i've been told in real life apparently he's overrated that's just what i've been told but yeah by his stats he still looks world class let's be real like 80 reflexes 14 agility seven i mean yeah wait 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 14 one and ones i'm not gonna lie that's that's a bit mad i'm not gonna lie. that's not really that great like for someone that's world class shot stopping wise that's kind of average if i'm being honest i'll be honest but yeah under pressure, I think that's one of his main things. Like 18 composure, 17 passing. Man's got 13 first touch. Like he can definitely play with the ball as well. Like definitely good jumping reach, good good command of area. Area reach is is it's not that great. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, overall in the game he looks amazing. But apparently in real life he's not that good. But yeah, let's just see how it goes. Let's give it some time. My like Mark Andre Testega. All right, next player that we've got is Gerard Piquet. Now 34 years of age. Now he's obviously coming towards the end of his career in real life. Let's be real. 34. My man's getting old in terms of footballers. In real life that's young, but footballers that's kind of old. Let's be real. But yeah, 16, 10, 15 vision and 16 passing. He's never gonna lose that pivot. Let's be real. Like that's technical ability. Very good passing. First touch. 15 composure 16 17 decisions under pressure you can't really get near this guy let's be real the thing about him is that when it does come to a foot race or someone with pace they're gonna do him so dirty i'm not gonna lie i know he's old so i'm not gonna i'm you know it's not his fault i'm not gonna lie when he gets split i'm not gonna blame him but the one thing that will help him out yeah is that 18 positioning that's what's gonna help him out a lot because he is slow as hell but at least he knows where to be which is gonna literally damage limitation so yeah overall Gerard PK, still a good centre back man still doing his thing so. alright next player that we've got is Eric Garcia who they did get on a free from Manchester City um, as you can see all he needs to do is hit the gym because he's got ability like as a defender 14 10 8 foot envision and 14 passing is a good pivot bruv 15 composure 14 first touch now obviously Jim in, man needs to know, he obviously needs to jump in it, like man needs to do some squats, yeah, get get the jumping in, and, and then man needs to bang weights as well, because 13 strength, I can't really lie to you, that's not really that great right now, but yeah, he does have the media description of one, the kid mean that his potential in this game is probably really good, which is why I said, just make him hit Jim, like he's got, a poten he's got ability, he's got potential, and I do think, yeah, that he's one of those guys that you can play now and he'll improve at the same time overall. Man like Eric Garcia in this game looks like a good player still. Alright, next player that we've got is Oscar Mingueza, right back or centre back. Cool. Um now as a right back, he's a full back support. Apparently, that's definitely not the case. Don't believe what you see on TV. Listen, eleven dribbling, eleven crossing, you can't support no one with that. Let's be real. So full back defend is what it's gonna be. Now, 13 acceleration, 12 agility, 14 pace is okay movement. Let's be real, it's, it's decent for a centre back or, or for 
fullback defender is okay as well because he's got good positioning. I'll let it slide. For me, um, I'm not gonna. If I had to choose between centre back and fullback for now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put him centre back. He looks like he's got ability. Like even in the mentals, man's got composure. Um, first touch is not that bad. It's under average by two years. Twenty two. I'll let it slide though. And he's got good tackling overall. He's a good player. I'm not gonna lie. Like I ain't even seen this guy. I ain't even heard of this guy before. Like I'm not gonna lie, but. He looks like a good player. So yeah, man, Oscar Mingueza. All right, next player that we've got is Ronald Arujo. Now you can see, yeah, man, man's got ability. Like he's sick, and I'm not gonna lie, like he's 22. Yeah, the only issue that I have with him is his agility, and that's not even in his fault because man's 63. I'm, oh, my, oh my god, man's six foot three. <laughs> Fuck it up. But yeah, um, 12 10 television and 13 passing. It's an okay put for a centre back. 13 first touch. 15 composure now the thing about this guy is that he's good with the ball yeah but when it comes to actually tackling he's i'm not gonna lie he's world class because man's got 17 tackling 16 marking positioning 15 bravery 17 he does not give a fuck he doesn't care who you are like when man, when, when man's got like determination like that bravery like that strength like that he does not care who you are he's just getting the ball in the air as well he's six foot three he's got 16 jump reach 17 heading like, no one's really going to win the ball with this guy in the air, let's be real. And on the ground, 17 tackling. That's precision tackling. He's not really going to give away too many fouls because he's getting the ball with 17 tackling. Overall, I don't know why it says squad player because I don't think I'll see a better centre-back than this guy. I'm making a little prediction. Sick. All right, next player that we've got is Samuel Umtiti. Now, ball playing defender, 14 technique, 10 vision and 14 passing. Very good, bro. Man's got 13 first touch, 16 composure, very good anticipation. So he's definitely good under pressure. The problem with man like Umtiti is that in the air, he's getting dominated. I'm not going to lie. Man's getting absolutely split in the air. Let's be real. Now, man's got 11 jumper reach. You can't do nothing about that. Like, he's, he's getting bullied, bro. I know he's got good direction of heading, but he can't, he can't win them. So what's the point? You get me? It's very pointless, bro. But yeah, like I said, his strengths is him being under pressure. Another one of his strengths I didn't even notice is that he's got 16 tackling, which is actually really, really good as well. Overall, yeah, good pace. Like in a straight line, I'm not going to lie, man's head. I'm not going to lie, he's stiff as fuck. Like 11 agility, he's going to get like, I'm not going to lie. It's not that good. But then again, good positioning, so I'm not going to lie. I'll let it slide. Another one. He's a good player. Yeah, Samuel Umtiti. In the game, looks like a very good centre-back. But the thing about him that I just remembered, yeah, is that he cannot stay fit. That's probably why he's transferred because he actually looks really good as well. Overall, man at Samuel Titi, good player. All right, next player that we've got is Clement Lengle. Now, um, I think this is a down. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a downgrade from my memory because I think I did a Barcelona save. And instead of like, you see how it's averaging like a lot of 14s, yeah. I think those 14s used to be 15s, so he's definitely gone down a lot. But yeah, 26 now, um, 13, 10, 8, 12 vision and 14 passing. Decent for a centre back once again. 13 first touch, 14 composure, anticipation, 15. Another one that's good under pressure in terms of playing with the ball. Another one that can pass as well. And another one that can defend at the same time. So that's another good centre back. Like 14 strength, 14 pace, 13 energy leaf, 13 acceleration. He's left footed as well. He's good at defending. He's got good speed as well. He's, he's a very good player. Once again, you get me, man, like Clement Longley. Good player. All right, next player that we've got is Musa Wagwe. Now, wing back attack, you get me? Now, he's got very good pace, 16 pace, 16 agility, 17 acceleration. Is very good movement. The only problem about this guy is that when he's not moving at the speed of light, which he is literally so fast, yeah, he's useless. I'm not going to lie because man's got, what, 13 technique, 9 vision, 10 passing. I can't trust this guy. I'm not going to lie. I could never play this guy like, especially against a deep line where his pace is useless he will be useless like man's got 12 dribbling 12 crossing that's not even that good i'll be real sell him like immediately it says fringe player i'll say put him in the bin fuck it say all right next player we've got is frankie de Jong. now i think i've said this before but before i even look at his stats here, i'm just going to tell you he is a deep line playmaker do not put this guy as an advanced playmaker his best position in this game is under pressure because like a lot of deep line playmakers, he doesn't need to move even though he can. And a lot of deep line playmakers, they can't dribble, but he does. And the way he does it is he does a little turn. Like, I think he's, 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 he's oh my God, he's got his own little like special move, yeah, where he spins people. Instead of like what normal deep line playmakers would already let the ball roll, he actually spins people, which is what makes him so special. But yeah, Frankie De Jong now, listen, 16, 10, 8, vision, 16 passing. It's not a joke. Like, man's got 17 first touch. Like I said, the dribbling's there, the flare's there. Under pressure, man's got good composure, anticipation, all of that first touch. Stuck to man's foot. Not gonna lie, like he, he's just so silky as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Now, um, 
Not that good at winning the ball. That's why I wouldn't put him deep playing playmaker defender. It's definitely deep playing playmaker on supporting. That's what it's going to have to be. Overall, man, let's be honest. Like, you can see the, the value. Like, man's definitely elite. Like, you can see that. So, yeah, overall, Frankie De Jong, deep playing playmaker. That's what it has to be. Very good player. World class for me. I'm not going to lie. Sick. All right, next player that we've got is Sergi Roberto. CDM or centre mid cool. 15, 10, 8, 14 vision and 14 passing. Good. Not going to lie. Now, I see 12 tackling. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't really trust that if I'm being honest. Defensively, I can't really trust this guy. I can't depend on him defensively because I know he can get split. You get me? Like, man can get spun by a wing with dribbling. Man can get spun still. Similar to what Ben Davies got by Man United today. Man can get absolutely fucked, bro. But yeah, 14 pace, 12 agility, 14 acceleration. It's decent, obviously, in a straight line. Man's got movement side to side. It's a bit meh, let's be real. But yeah, composure, anticipation, 14, 13. Good decisions. Like I said, this guy's a midfielder that can play right back, literally. I think he's trying to play naturally midfield now, but... Yeah, actually, you know, that's probably what's best for him, if I'm being honest. Like, he looks like a good squad player. Like, good utility, man. I'll be honest. I'll keep him, man, like Sergio Roberto. See? All right, next player that we've got is Sergino Des. 20 years of age, man, can comfortably play right back, left back, left wing back, right wing back. Cool. Now, 15 pace, 14 agility, 15 acceleration is good P. Uh, oh, my God. Speed, yeah, yeah. Um, 13 dribbling, 13 flair. Once again, man can dribble. He can go forward. I think his strengths... Oh, wait, I wouldn't even say his strength is going forward, yeah, because 13 tackling is good as well, if I'm being honest. So it looks like he can defend now. I don't think he had that before. So that's definitely an upgrade, yeah. Now, 13 dribbling, 14 crossing is really good. So you know what? Before, I would have said sell this guy or, or send him out on loan. But right about now, you might have to keep him. I'm not going to lie. Like, he looks like he's got potential. Like, really and truly, he looks like he's got potential. Man can go forward and defend now. And he's doing it decent. Like, I'm not going to lie. Man, that's like Sergino Desk, good player. All right, next player that we've got is... Jordi Alba, now um, 32 and he's still got his speed, like he's still got that bro, man, still bombing down that left hand side, creating havoc, providing creative width, so yeah, um, now 15 technique, 15 vision and 13 passing, 14 crossing, like I told you, man, man knows how to create chances in it, now he's got good flair, good dribbling as well, and for a left back, 13 finishing is great, let's be real, now 15 pace, 14 agility, 17 acceleration, like I said, man still got his movement mentally, he, he's, he's very good like literally everything is 12 and above in the mentals which is amazing man makes the right decisions in the final third good anticipation overall a very good player the only thing he really needs to work on well not work on but the only thing that he needs is composure but it's it's all right i'll let it slide he's still a good player man like Jordi Alba very good player and he can defend as well 14 tackling in his calm overall good player so, right, next player that we've got is Alejandro Balde now if you don't know the name let me tell you something this guy he is amazing. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm talking in game. I'm not going to lie. In real life, yeah, I ain't really seen him. I'll be honest. I haven't really seen him, but I do know that in the game, because that's what we're here for. We're here for the game. I'll talk about the game. He's really good. Like, I'll be honest. He turns into a very good right winger. Like I'm not going to lie. He's a creative one. He's not a shooter. Like I'll be honest. He's not a shooter. He doesn't score too many goals yet. But in terms of getting assists, Lord have mercy, man, man gets assists still now. He's one of those guys. He's very fast. Like He's got he's got mad pace. As you can see, he's only 18. He's got 16 pace, 17 agility, 17, I mean 16 acceleration, yeah, which is good pace, yeah. The dribbling, the crossing, first touch, all of these things, they go 14 and above. Like, I've seen his potential card. It looks amazing. Good flair as well. He can beat a man. And the thing that he does need to work on is, as you can see, mentally in this section where the cursor is, it's not that good. But but I let it slide sometimes. Like, I'm not going to lie, I still play him anyway because he's just that good in it. But yeah, only certain people can do that and he's one of them. So yeah, special player, man like Alejandro Bude. So. All right, next player that we've got is Sergio Busquets. Now, um, 16 technique, 16 vision, 17 passing. We've met him on defensive midfielder on support. Not going to lie to you, I can't agree with that. I have to be honest, it has to be deep player and playmaker. As we all know, this guy, he's just so silky. Like, personally, I think I've said this before as well. Only Lord knows how he's got nine flair. Only Lord knows. Because if you watch this guy play, yeah, he's he's cheeky. Like, he's very cheeky. He takes the piss. Like, when I tell you he takes the piss, yeah, he knows that he's slow. Like, everybody knows he's slow, meaning that he gets pressed a lot, yeah. So that when people run at him, yeah, he knows people are running at him. He lets them come so close, yeah, and then he just drags the ball out of the way. Which is why I'm confused how he's only got 12 dribbling and 9 flair. That does not make sense. I've seen this guy play. He's very audacious. One of those audacious motherfuckers. But anyway, um, as you can see, in the mental ability, it is world class, man. It's definitely one of the best in the world mentally, as you can see. First touch controlling that. Composure, ridiculous. Decisions, ridiculous, bruv. He, he's just ridiculous. Overall, Sergio Busquets, he's 32 and I'll still start him. Like, 
I, you know, it's, he's that good yet. I'll put two deep line playmakers on him and Young. I'll put them deep line playmakers. I'll do that still because in that midfield, you, you just can't get the ball. If you've got those two at deep line playmakers, Lord have mercy if you're pressing them because you're not getting the ball. I'm not going to lie. They're just going to be taking the piss, like simple as Sergio Busquets. All right, next player that we've got is Gavi. Now, um, let me just quickly wipe my eyes because I just see that this guy's 16. No way is this guy 16 and he's got stats like this because this is like Mukuku levels. I'm not going to lie. You know what Mukuku's on yeah? Like, man, man looks like a grown man and he's only 16. This guy looks like a grown man and he's only 16. Now, 12 pace, 15 jelly, 13 acceleration. Very good movement for his age. You get me? He's good, bruv. Now, 17 flare, 15 dribbling. Lord have mercy. He's he's literally spinning, guys. Double his age. Old enough to be his granddad and shit. Man, man spinning them. Minute 16, 10, 15 vision and 14 passing. He's got execution of pass. The guy is 16, yeah? And he makes the right decisions. He's got composure. He's got anticipation. All of these things are going to be 14 and above. I won't be surprised if he turns into literally one of the best cams in the game facts because you can see mentally he's averaging everything 11 and above on average like that's average in it so yeah finishing ability i'm not gonna lie 10 is really good as well like uh, who is this guy gavi what the i ain't never seen this guy before like I, i've done a save and his stats did not look like this so this is an upgrade i'm just letting you know that this is an upgrade and he looks ridiculous simple as man like gavi world-class potential so, all right next player we've got is ricky puig cool um advanced playmaker um center middle cam cool now yeah you could do that if you wanted to he's he's young like he's, he's not really that fast as we as we all know he's not that fast yeah but he's still moving though like just not at speed now 17 technique 70 vision 16 passing very good pivot like 16 first touch 14 composure 50 anticipation that's probably the reason why i would put him deep playing playmaker like because i know that in the final third he cannot shoot like from close and long range he's not that good at shooting yeah but he's a very good creative player though. So if you wanted to put him cam, it would it would definitely be um and uh, yeah. In Ganche, I, I agree with that because he can't really move that much, yeah, at speed anyway. So I think the best thing for him, because he doesn't even have off the ball, so I think the best thing for him is to stay stationary, use him as a little pivot in that midfield, yeah, and just play off him in it. That's what I think the best thing for him in it. But yeah, if you're not gonna put him cam, it will be a deep plan playmaker. That's what I do with man like Ricky Puig. Uh, apart from that, he's a very good player though. Good good oh my god, good potential, good potential. All right, next player that you've got is Coutinho now um, I ever thought it man's got 11 pace cool yeah he, he lost his legs I don't know how but but those legs are gone now I saw him bulk up a bit when he went to Bayern Munich but yeah 10 strength is, is, is alright I'll be honest but yeah 18 dribbling 18 flair 19 technique like you can see this guy has got mad ability yeah I don't know what it is. I think at the time it was because Messi was there and you can't really take the spotlight from Messi if we're being honest, bro. Anyway, in the, in the game, yeah, he is injured for about two months. When he comes back, he's going to score you a lot of bangers. I'll tell you that because 70 long shots is not a joke, bro. I'm not going to lie. He does get a lot of really good looking goals. Obviously, in terms of his best position, I'm not going to lie. I can't put this guy out wide. I'll be honest. like Not, not on a consistent basis. Maybe a little injury squad depth thing, but I can't really put him out wide. It's a shadow striker. If not shadow striker, it's it's an attacking midfielder. But yeah, that's what I'll choose for um, Coutinho. He's still a good player though. Don't get it twisted. He's still got ability. It's just, I, I know his best posi position is a shadow striker. But apart from that, Coutinho's a good player. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about real life yet, yeah, but in game, yeah, he, he's good still. And Anyway, let's move on. All right, next outfield player that we've got is Pedri. And I do respect Barcelona for the way that they scouted him and signed him because he costs like four million. And and if you watch him play, you would think that he's been there for at least 20 years. He hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't even been alive for 20 years, bruv. So that, that just shows you the levels, in it? But yeah, 17, 10, 17, and 17 passing. For an 18-year-old, that is ridiculous, bruv. 18 flare, 17 dribbling, spinning the man. And I've seen this guy as 20 flare before, so you already know what's going to happen. 19 dribbling and I've seen it as well now 18 first touch bruv you, you already know where that's going as well composure 15 he makes the right decisions from now I'm not gonna lie I think one of his underrated positions was left wing although he can play cam very well left wing was very underrated 13 pace is going up as well 15 jelly full acceleration is still good movement overall man like Pedri he is absolutely ridiculous like in terms of potential world class right now wonder kid safe next player that we've got is Usman Dembele um, it says that he's gone for six to seven months I'm not gonna lie when he comes back just sell him there's no point I'll be honest like he's 24 um, he's probably gonna come back as a 25 year old that means he's escaped the youth bracket in terms of age I mean oh my god he's escaped the age 
bracket in terms of you oh, I don't even know how to say it but listen listen he's no longer a youth player anymore 18 dribbling 18 flair is still very good I'm not going to lie but it's just he's he's. I'm not going to lie the end product is not there he's meant to be a Barcelona player and, and his end product is his his highest end product here is 15 crossing so so I'm not going to lie I'm, I'm never going to use this guy if I'm the Barcelona manager and I guarantee you in real life they will only use him because of how much they paid for him but let's be honest um He's 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 not that good in game. Let's be real. He's just fast. He can dribble. And let me not let me not lie as well. He, when he does dribble, like you can't really stop it. But it's just the end product. You don't know what he's gonna do next, man. He hasn't got the right decision making. Composure's not that good. Mentally, it's absolutely shambolic. Mala Usman Dembele, man. I, I'm 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 done. All right, next player that we've got is Sergio Aguero. Now, 33, and he's still got his legs. Yeah, respect, bro. I'm not gonna lie. His natural fitness is even that high. So that just shows you the, lev the levels, yeah. But anyway, 14 pace, 14 agility, 16 acceleration. Man's got 19 balance, yeah. You can't get the ball off this guy, really and truly. Man's a striker in it, and he's got 18 dribbling, yeah. 18 dribbling for a striker is ridiculous. That's like R9 level. Like, man's a striker that can spin you. It's dangerous, I'm not going to lie. 17 finishing, yeah. Close range finishing, locked off. 14 long shots, long range as well. And if he wants to be a creative player, he definitely can with 18 technique, 14 vision and 15 passing. Sergio Aguero is world class, you get me. Elite striker. He did come to Barcelona for Messi. Messi did leave him there, but that's not really their fault. Let's be real, that's financial problems. But yeah, overall, Sergio Aguero, world class striker. And you can see the value that he brings just by looking at the stats, bruv. Same. All right, next player that we've got is Yusuf Demir. Now, um, if you're a football manager player, yeah, you already know that this guy turns into one of the best cams in the game literally um he is 18 but don't be fooled by the stats at all like even his stats now look good yeah but listen it just gets better like way better as well like, i'm talking 17s and 18s that i've seen like it's it's very dangerous but yeah right now he's 18 with 16 10 8 foot vision and 13 passing you can see that that's a potential card because that's going to get better that's going to be all 14 and above literally um 14 first touch 16 dribbling 15 flair spinning guys like he's a cam or a right winger if you want him to if you wanted him to play cam the decision maker is going to go up either way and if you want him to play right winger he's got pace that goes up either way like he's the only thing that you need to work on is the finishing which goes up yeah it's a win-win play him now he improves at the same time while providing you a little bit of value let's be real he's still got ability now but yeah man like Yusuf Demir very good player man very good player. next player that we've got is Martin Braithwaite now um yeah I, I don't know what to say I'm, I'm not gonna lie he's 30 you can play left wing striker right wing 12 dribbling allow it you can't play on either wing um, as a striker 12 finishing I, I'm tempted to say you can't even play striker you can't even shoot and you're 30 allow it I'm not gonna lie absolutely embarrassing let's be real um he's got good pace um good flair as well um but yeah apart from that i'm not gonna lie, he looks hella average let's be real not that good of a player like, i don't know how he's at barcelona no one knows I, I don't think anyone knows the answer to that so let me just get off this card so, the next player that we've got is memphis Depay. now still a very good player let's be real um he, he's amazing man like memphis Depay, 16 pace full allegedly 16 acceleration i don't know where they play him they could play him left wing cam and striker i don't know where they play him now but listen um either way he's putting in a solid performance well what i think he would do i think he'll put in a solid performance 15 dribbling 17 flair like this is a guy that is very stocky like he's not he's not he's not i'm not gonna say skinny but he, he's very athletic, like you can see that he's he's got physical stuff about him, yeah. So man's body and guys, literally. And and add that to the dribbling ability and the flair, it's gonna be a very hard um task for you as a defender to get the ball off him, literally. But yeah, um 16, 10, 8, 14 vision and 15 passing man can split the fences, he can cross, he can shoot from close and long range, end product locked off. I'm not gonna lie, man's man's got end product for days. Um, he's he's just a very good player, literally, man. Like Memphis Depay, he's got leadership qualities as well, quite underrated. And and yeah, apart from that, man, man's just yeah, he's elite. Let's be real, he is elite. And I think that in La Liga, he'll be doing his thing a lot more. So yeah, simple as man. Like Memphis Depay, very good player. All right, next player that we've got is Ansu Fati. Now, um, still a very youth. I mean, oh my god, very good youth player, bro. You get me? Now he is 18 in game. Now. 16 technique, 14 vision and 12 passing. Um, that pivot does go all 14 and above in case you're wondering. I've seen what this guy looks like, bruv. It's ridiculous. 18 years. Yeah, like I said, 18 years of age. 16 dribbling, 19 flair. That flair obviously is going to go to 20 as well. And pace, 15 pace, 17 agility, 16 acceleration. So yeah, he's like a mix. This is what makes him so good, yeah, is that he's a mix between, similar to like Depay, like man can shoot, he can cross, 
He can pass, like he can split the fence if he wants to as well. He's got very good end product overall. And this time he's fast, but he can dribble very, very well. Like very, very well. Man's got 19 play. You don't want to mess with this guy. He can naturally play striker now as well. It's not a joke. 15 finishing, not a joke, bruv. And, and like I said, if you're a Barcelona youth player, all you really need is one good season. Because as you can see, he had that one good season and, and you can see how high they rate him. They gave him the number 10, yeah? They gave him the number 10 for literally one and a half good seasons, two good seasons. Like, yeah, that's that's the levels. But yeah, man like Ansu Fati, very good potential, very good player, wonder kid, potentially world-class as well. So yeah, let's see how it goes in real life. And lastly, we've got man like Luke De Jong. Now, we've all played these saves, yeah, where we sign a lot of players... And then we sign players that we don't need just because we can sign them. And I think that's what this is right now. I think they've signed him on loan just because they can. I don't think they needed him. I don't think it was compulsory that they had him. But it's, it's still, it's, I'm not going to lie. Um, if you want a backup striker, off the bench, he's, he's kind of broken. I'm not going to lie. Like In game, he's kind of broken. In real life, he is kind of broken as well, if I'm being honest, like off the bench. So yeah, it kind, kind of makes a bit more sense when I think about it. But I think it's just a name thing. I'm thinking Luke de Jong playing for Barcelona. It's a bit mad. But anyway, 16 jump reach, 17 head. And I think that's his like main thing, his aerial ability. Like six foot two is not that big, but it's still kind of big. Let's be real. Um, 14 strength, good as well. He's not that fast. He's got very good off the ball. On ground, he can finish with 15 finishing. The long shots are 12. He's still a decent player. That's what I'm trying to say. He's, he's got ability. Like I, I would much more prefer this guy than Braithwaite. Braithwaite is what confuses me the most. But Luke De Jong, at least I know that he's got a little bit of a purpose. Like I know he's probably... No, I heard about him playing one game and he's missing a lot of chances. But I, I, I have a lot more faith in this guy than I do Braithwaite. That's what I'll put it like. So yeah, overall, Luke De Jong, good player in game. And in real life, I know off the bench he can be effective for a last minute. A last minute clutch goal simple way. and that is the Barcelona squad bruv obviously you can pause that and read that if you want to but let me just quickly talk about the squad that I just analysed now I'm not even gonna lie like that's still a good team like they've got a got I'm oh my god they've got a lot of very good youth prospects like and, and I'm talking from their own academy some that they might have signed but it's still good scouting and it's still good development like their development team is very good bruv and obviously the experienced players are all world class or, or elite if we're being honest but yeah um, you can see the honors. They're they're there. Like they've they're, they're, that's a big team. Barcelona. Everybody knows Barcelona, man. Like I, I don't even have to say nothing. But yeah, let's line them up so you can get an idea of how I would line them up personally. And yeah, that's that's just me. All right. So this is how I'm gonna personally line up Barcelona. So in goal to Stegen, yeah. Um, goalkeeper, sweeper, keeper, attack. Just because he's just that good at playing with the ball. Simple. Like literally. Anyway. Dest, wing back um, attack, yeah, literally running. He's, he's got good tackling as well. That's what surprised me. So that's why I'm going to put him wing back attack. Like he's got good pace. He can get to the byline. He'll, he'll be creating a lot of chances from that wide area. Man like um, Sergino Dest. And then the two centre backs have got PK on ball playing defender. The reason why I'm going to play PK is because he's not going to be here as a footballer for that long because obviously he's 34. So he's going to retire soon. So you might as well just get the most of out of him as you can for now but yeah next to him we've got a younger player who is Arujo who I'm actually going to put no nonsense centre back on cover like the reason why I'm going to do that is because playing two ball playing defenders you might be able to get away with it because they're both pretty much elite yeah but I'm just going to do it for just 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 because just because in it but yeah um my like Arujo no nonsense centre back and then Alba left back another one that you're not really going to have for too long but use them while you can simple as but yeah in the midfield two deep playing playmakers one on the one on the support the one on the defender is Busquets because he is better defensively and he is world class let's be real and then De Jong yeah um, he can dribble as well like no, I put the wrong De Jong, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man, I put the wrong De Jong, what the hell? But yeah, um, man like De Jong, he can dribble. He will create a lot of chances. He'll get a lot of assists as well. And then Pedri, left wing. I'm not going to lie, I've done it. like, Because I know that he's so good on the left wing in game. I've done it for the lineup. Like, Man's putting Pedri, left wing, inverted wing on support. Shadow striker, Memphis Depay, you get me? Like, Man, man can shoot, cross, pass, everything. Man can do that as well. And then straight line right winger, I've gone with Ansu Fati for now. No, I'm not going to lie. Like, you can obviously switch him and Pedri or switch Pedri and um, Fati. Yeah, Pe I wouldn't be surprised if Fati could do a little shadow striker thing as well because he's got good decisions, good, pa um, good passing. But yeah, overall, um, up front is Aguero. Yeah, Aguero's up front and, and literally that's like the best striker you could probably want right now up front. Obviously, I've done this 
based on the players there, not on fitness or anything like that. If it was fitness, it would be a completely different thing. But yeah, um, that's Barcelona. That's how I'm going to line them up, bruv. And, and yeah. Shout out Alfie King one more time. Yeah, you lot. It's, it's, it's a mad video. But yeah, man's done now. I'm not going to lie. You lot, if you like that video, like that video. Big up all of the subscribers, yeah, that have been with me and all of the new ones as well. Big up all of you. And yeah, you lot, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content you don't expect from me and I'll see you in my next episode, bruv. Safe. I can't even talk flipping up.